Welcome to Attingham Park in Shropshire, a stunning 18th century estate steeped in British history. Situated near the River Turn, Attingham's story is a vivid reflection of the country's social shifts, architectural evolution, and the tastes and lives of its owners, the Berwick family. Our journey begins in 1785 when Noel Hill, the first Baron Berwick, commissioned the estate's main building. The design was entrusted to George Stuart, a noted architect of the period, who combined Palladian and neoclassical styles, creating an elegant symmetrical house that mirrored both the grandeur and ideals of the Age of Enlightenment. This period saw the rise of British industrial power, colonial expansion, and profound philosophical debate all of which influenced the aspirations of the British aristocracy. Attingham, with its grand facade and intricate interiors, served as a symbol of prestige and wealth. Moving inside, Attingham's unique interior holds a mirror to the changing fortunes and tastes of its owners. The house's layout includes a distinctively oval room, known as the Octagon Room, which showcases exceptional plasterwork and is adorned with original hand-painted murals, a testament to the craftsmanship and artistry of the time. The Grand Staircase, meanwhile, offers a passage from the public spaces to the more private quarters, representing both physical and social ascendance. Every inch of the house is designed to impress and reflect the wealth of the Hill family, a family whose prosperity was intertwined with Britain's colonial enterprises. As we wander through the rooms, we notice an intriguing mix of tastes. On the one hand, there are opulent Regency period designs, deep, bold colors and luxurious fabrics. On the other hand, there's a touch of neoclassicism, a subtle nod to the Greco-Roman influence popular in British architecture at the time. Attingham Park's owners were known to host lavish gatherings and elaborate social events, and each room was crafted to create a suitable atmosphere, balancing splendor with functionality.
However, this wasn't always a happy family home. Attingham has a fascinating and at times tumultuous history, particularly through the life of the second Lord Berwick, Thomas Noel Hill, a notorious spender, his penchant for the luxurious and his extravagant lifestyle led the family into severe financial difficulties. One of the most striking examples of this was his marriage to Sophia Dubachet, an English courtesan whose strong personality left a lasting impact on Attingham. Despite their differences in background, the two lived passionately, decorating the house in opulent French styles. An unusual choice in Regency England that speaks to Sophia's influence and the Berwick's evolving tastes. But Thomas's debts eventually took their toll, and the family's financial woes threatened to fracture the estate. By the late 19th century, financial constraints led the family to sell off much of their artwork and furniture, significantly altering the estate's splendor. It's during this period we begin to see Attingham morph from a symbol of individual prestige into one of historical preservation. The estate transitioned through various periods of neglect, at one point even being used as a wartime rehabilitation center. In the early 20th century, the National Trust took over, committed to preserving and restoring the home's original grandeur. The surrounding parklands designed by Humphrey Repton are a highlight of the estate. Repton, the celebrated landscape gardener, incorporated both natural beauty and practical agricultural elements into his designs. With a picturesque deer park, rolling meadows and curated gardens, Repton's landscape work created a sense of harmony with nature, yet underscored the estate's grandeur and status. Even today the parklands serve as a serene backdrop to the house drawing countless visitors every year who come to enjoy the beauty and tranquility of the grounds. Today, Attingham Park stands as a preserved testament to the peaks and valleys of Britain's aristocratic heritage. Every room tells a story, from the grand state rooms where society's elite once mingled to the servant quarters and kitchen spaces that remind us of the unseen hands that kept the estate running. Attingham's many layers, its architectural beauty, stories of personal triumph and loss, and the preservation efforts that have saved it, make it one of Shropshire's most fascinating historical sites.
Visitors to Attingham today can explore not only the house but also the meticulously restored gardens, taking in both the splendor of a bygone age and the quiet resilience of an estate that has weathered centuries of change. Attingham Park, in essence, is a journey back in time, a vivid reflection of British history, art and society, preserved in one breathtakingly beautiful estate. And there you have it, Attingham Park, a true icon of Shropshire and British heritage. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey.